So here's another type of weight and balance program that's used for the MD-80 aircraft uh, that could be used, and we used it at the charter airline where I worked. I've got it already loaded with some passengers. Uh, we have 52 people in zone A, 50 in zone B, 53 in zone C. So unlike the CRJ, we had two sections. The MD-80 is a longer aircraft, and we have three different cabin sections set up here. We don't have any uh, bags on board yet. We can add some bags um, for this example. Uh, we can put in some weight um, and what you'll see as I add some bags here, pay attention to this part of the graph. Um, over here we have lines that are about to be drawn. And as these lines get drawn you will see the CG of the airplane move. Right now, the center of gravity of the airplane is right here, and it's just outside our allowable envelope. So here's our envelope. So as I add some, some bags on board in the different cargo holds, um, you'll, you'll see what happens here. So let's add some weight in the different cargo bins. Okay. So now we have added some different weights in the cargo bins. Our center of gravity is still outside our envelope. Now let's add some fuel on board. And again, watch this area over here as we add this. Watch this area as you can see the center of gravity move. So I've added some fuel and we can have a certain amount for taxiing and we can have a certain amount for the what we call the burn off for the flight. So this is our planned fuel burn for this flight. Okay, so as I did that, dots appeared. These dots are going to tell us that this is our takeoff weight and this is our landing weight down in there. But you'll notice there's, a, there's still a problem because uh, we're still outside our envelope. And because of that, this whole line has turned red here. So let's um, try to get us back into the uh, into our center of gravity envelope. We're out the forward CG, so let's take out the, anything that's in the front of the aircraft. So I've taken out everything that's in the first cargo bin in the front of the aircraft. And you'll see that now at least we have a center of gravity that's inside our envelope for takeoff and one that's inside for landing. But our line here is still red. And the reason for that is because if you take a look at this, if we were somehow to uh, burn lower than our planned landing weight, we would eventually burn outside our center of gravity envelope in flight, and that would not be a good thing. So let's take a little bit out of um, bin two. And just that is that easy. We have now got everything inside the center of gravity envelope that's allowed. This line is no longer red. This line is no longer red. And we get a good visual of where the center of gravity is for this airplane for this day. Now, this um, program has some options that we can put on it. If we, for example, say that we have an additional crew member in the flight deck, I would just tick this box. And once our box is ticked down here, you actually see that even just adding one person in the flight deck has tripped our CG again. So now we're too far forward again. Um, you can kind of see from this, uh, the MD-80 has a forward CG issue. It has two big engines at the back, or medium-sized engines, but it still has a forward center of gravity issue. Just because of how much of the cabin is forward of the wing, where the airplane typically is going to have its center of gravity located. So that's just an example of how that can happen. The other thing that's interesting with this program, um, if I look at these different configurations shown here, we had a ferry configuration and a reposition configuration. In these configurations, we weren't looking at how many passengers might be walking around the cabin at any time, how many might be going to the lavatory at any one time. So. If I were to change this airplane's configuration, say, to a ferry configuration, you will notice our center of gravity just got much bigger. It did remove all our data from before, but it just got much bigger. 
Uh, because just two people on board moving the airplane, two pilots, the center of gravity for not having a bunch of people that might be walking around the cabin going to the lavatory, that allows a lot more freedom to load the airplane and stay within our requirements. So that's just an example of uh, how the MD-80 is done for weight and balance or how an airline can elect to do an aircraft's weight and balance.